Try to wrap your brain around how steep that is. And somehow we're getting up that. Steep? Yep. Becker Hollow. Why am I back here? I don't know. Every time I hike Becker Hollow, I curse myself and I curse Becker Hollow. But I'm back. I don't know. It's uh, 10 degrees at the parking lot. I think it's supposed to be somewhere negative 26-ish. I'll post something over there. Anyway, the uh, parking lot's not plowed, which is weird. Oh my God, it's cold out there. It is cold, just getting ready. I'm starting off in a military polypropylene layer and uh, just an Under Armour compression shirt. So I'm starting off with next to nothing. My gloves are off, hat's off. Uh, let's start some sweating. It's a message from the future to yourself. Uh, at some point you're gonna be like, that's too far up to get to that ridge. And you're gonna be like, it'll be really easy coming down. Turns out, down's gonna be just as hard. Also, future note to future self, um, these new boots are not insulated and therefore not a good choice for this type of activity. Good thing it's a day hike. Sadly, I couldn't get that on film, but uh, even with this book and book on tape on my head, it's cold enough that some of the trees, the sap explodes. It literally sounded like a gunshot. It was kind of fun. It was like a sharp crack. Sadly, I, uh, I was not filming. Hoping to get another one at some point. But that's what's looking like. So they went up there and. Uh, at least it's not just me, but interesting. Just all ice. So when I get the packed snow, I'm good. And on the ice, I'm also good, but micro spikes are definitely pushing their luck on this. Full intentions are to make a video of just me, an hour and a half complaining about how steep this trail is. That's my goal. Just my guess. My guess is somebody wiped out there. Somebody got going too fast or whatever. Or took a nap. I don't know. But someone definitely fell over. I see some other sliding marks up ahead too. Totally lost. Never gonna find my way out of this place. If only there was a sign of which way to go. But first, some more uphill. This won't translate to film. But I assure you, it's steep. Jesus Christ. Oh God.
zero wind the whole way up. And I just crested the summit. I could see the cabin. And here comes the wind. So my shell will be coming out very, very soon. Because that temperature is going to drop. Plus, once I stop moving, things are going to get rude. I need my gloves immediately. And my windbreaker immediately. I'm gonna put this shell jacket right over top of my wet clothes and I'm gonna zip it up. Why am I doing that? Well, oddly, more importantly, I'm gonna put my jacket on over top of this and uh, you could do it with a vest as well. Put the windbreaker on the shell and then put your dry stuff on. Otherwise, suck temperature. I think it's going to get wet for you. You want your dry stuff dry. That makes sense? Dry stuff dry. Is it cold up here? Yerp. Check out the blackheads. Very distinctive. Probably also very cold over there. This is going to be just as slow down as it was up. Um, one wrong step and you are, you're going to make it down very fast. It's going to be a long walk. Fall on this and it's all ice underneath it. And we're going for the big ass ride. I'm going to take a break. Oh, I'm starting a little mini avalanche.
these are the professional model of the they just got a little more feistiness to them nice spikes this little ball here hopefully keeps snow from piling up kind of moves but i'm cold gotta get in the car <laughs> 